Okay, well, these are second year dental students. Um, they are revisiting anatomy uh, using body painting, on, particularly face painting. Um, they learn their anatomy in first year, um, but they don't do clinical practice until third year, essentially. Um, so what they're doing now is revisiting it and doing it through, through paint, through face painting. So they're drawing the surface anatomy um, on to each other's faces, that's what they're doing at the moment. So we're painting our friend's face um, to show the muscles um, of the face. We're sort of trying to get different shades of each colour and then using the lighter white to, you know, kind of define the boundaries of each muscle. And the fibres of the muscle. Yeah. It's different from normal anatomy. Yeah. Mostly because um, when we're dissecting you, you, you see the structures but when we're on like with patients you have to kind of visualise the structures. So up here we've got the facial vein running and then you've got the facial artery and the submandibular gland is down here um, where like saliva is being produced and that's quite key for dentists. We have quite close links with medical art here. Um, I teach a little bit on the medical art program and we have medical artists both in dentistry and in medicine. And um, they're here to train as medical artists and this is a, just, A, it expands their their skills but also it helps our students get the most out of, as they're not necessarily artistically trained, get the most out of what they're doing. It's good for them to relate the anatomy to the surface anatomy of the face because when they're actually in the clinic they're not going to be looking at a dissection or something but they need to obviously keep in their mind exactly what's going on with the anatomy under the skin. So with this I was wanting to show the parotid gland and its relationship to the face and the other muscles. So what I did was I started off by doing just a sketch and trying to work out exactly where all the kind of markers were. So feeling for the cheekbone, feeling for where the temporal mandible joint is, which is where your jaw attaches to the rest of your skull up there. <laughs> And a lot of resources that a student see, they're all 2D illustrations, so you see it either in a side view or in a front view. And what's important for the students to understand is your structures are in three-dimensional form. So there's layers that go in and out of the face until you reach from skin to bone. And when they do this exercise, what they're doing is they're learning where these structures lie within each other. And then when they draw along the face, they realize it's actually a lot harder to visualize what happens when a nerve curves around to the front you know of the jaw here it's better because you, know, you have to actually think about where you're putting the muscles and yeah. where it's you know it's yeah. a fun and it's fun and, and it's competitive yeah. as well yeah, <laughs> <We're very competitive. laughs> it goes in easier as well yeah just like yeah i think if you actually it's a bit more creative, creative. exactly yeah. not just sat with it's a book yeah it's more creative it's much easier fun. definitely yeah more. Very, very much more fun <laughs>